This video has been published for entertainment purposes only. Tattooing should only be performed by licensed trained professionals and should adhere to all local health codes. This video also contains needles and blood, which may be upsetting for some viewers. Welcome back Tattoo Friends to 52 Tattoos. If you're new to 52 Tattoos, my name is Ariel and I'm spending my year getting one tattoo each week. You can learn more about my project by watching my channel introduction. This is week 8 of 52 and I'm back at Dark Heart Tattoo to see Chewy again this week. This week's tattoo is going to be a stingray on my left leg. This placement will be very close to the octopus Chewy did in episode 6. As you can see, it's snowy here. Very cold, which is why I don't do many introductions outside lately before I go in. Once spring rolls around, I will get back to doing that. Ah, uh, nothing like a tattoo shop in winter. Beautiful. So this week I tried to do something a little different. Chewie's story about drawing his own tattoos inspired me. So I tried to draw my own stingray and I will show you as soon as I'm done shuffling through my papers. So this is what I came up with and it's okay. I like it. I also did a version where I colored it in a little bit. As you can see with my use of blue and gray. Nice, right? Now truthfully, I just traced this off of a picture, then I sent it to Chewy, and then he improved it. Chewy is suggesting the placement for it. He wanted to show some interaction between the octopus and the stingray. Look who I found lurking around the mirror. It's Rachel with some new hair. She asked how the creepy doll is doing that she did in episode 5. Creepy doll is doing well. In fact, for the most part, all the tattoos Rachel did had healed by the time of the stingray tattoo. So by the time I got done reminiscing with Rachel, I completely forgot what I was doing with the stingray. Chewy showed me again where he thought it should go, in the area below the octopus, and I figured, let's give it a try. Chewy did some applying of the stencil, and he said, nope, don't like it, let me try it again. So we wiped it off and reapplied it. As you can see, the stingray is more towards the front of my leg now. I took a look in the mirror, and I'm happy with it. I think it's time to bring this little guy to life. Here's a good look at it before Chewie gets started. I had pictured it more below the octopus, but this, I like it. Now these colors tattoo artists use, sometimes the little nozzle on them gets clogged up. This happens with almost any art pigment, and it's really annoying. Now, let's be very quiet. What we're about to see isn't widely known outside tattooing circles, and has never been seen before. Chewie waves a crystal wand around the empty cups. Then he just needs to tap the top of the cups with his hand. Presto! Brilliant, Chewie. Magic is truly the best invention. We're ready to get started. A problem I see with a lot of stingrays that I've seen pictures of, they are washed out with dark blues and purples and it's almost impossible to make out what they are. Chewie said he intended to avoid that problem. The thing with me and stingrays is pretty simple. Stingrays are cute. I got a chance to pet a stingray once at Brookfield Zoo in the Stingray Bay exhibit. They are smooth and slimy feeling to the touch. I would totally pet one in the wild. I gotta put that on my bucket list. All right, friends, time to sit back and enjoy the show. Chewie said he had a good feeling about this, like it would turn out great. Also, just to remind you, if you don't have time to watch this episode all at once, come back later and finish watching it.
at the final wipe down here. Still the best feeling about getting a tattoo. I cannot stress that enough. Totally a guilty pleasure. I got up and took a look in the mirror. I really like it, and I was dancing a little jig and everything. From across the room, I don't know how Chewie saw it, but he said, no, get back here, I see something I have to fix. So I got back up on the chair and Chewie did some more finishing touches. I see now what Chewie thought was missing. Just a little bit of contrast to give the creatures some better separation. Truly, I would have never ever thought it needed anything more. This whole tattoo took about 45 minutes and I know it's probably hard to judge the size of these tattoos just watching it on the video. This stingray is about six inches long and two inches high. As the octopus was only done two weeks ago, it was still healing. You can kind of see that in the video at times. Around the end of the octopus tentacles, it was pretty well healed and this tattoo wasn't more painful than any of the others. However, the very bottom of the stingray, close to the knee, was a little more intense than the rest of the space on the stingray. I suppose that could be a sign that I might have more pain closer to the knee. Anyhow, Chewie finished the additions and gave what I suppose we can call the final, final wipe down. I'm sure by this time, if you haven't noticed, my pant leg is unattached to anything. I suppose I could have just worn my leggings that I invented last week backwards, but I was feeling a bit lazy before I came in and just put on the cutoff leg. It's good to recycle. He took some pictures and Rachel danced a little jig. She's so funny. <laughs> Poking at Chewy, who is Mr. Serious Picture Man. <laughs> I went and put some pants on and confirmed with Chewy the next couple of tattoos he is doing. I paid him for his fine work and I was out the door. Here's my stingray tattoo a couple weeks later. He was an easy healer and as you can see the octopus is still healing too. I'm very happy with how this stingray turned out. It's pretty accurate to any picture of one you would see. It isn't a washed out mass of black outline and dark blue shades or some highly stylized interpretation. It's just a stingray and he's keeping it real. Checks all the plus side boxes for me. So that is it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed the stingray tattoo and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to 52 tattoos, it would be an honor if you could click that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate all of you that come back every week to watch my little tattoo movie here. It really means a lot to me, so seriously, thank you for taking the time to watch. So everyone, have a safe week. I hope all of you find your way to a shop to get your own tattoo as well. And with that, I will see you all next week. Bye! <laughs>